Hello, I just wanted to share with you the opportunity to see such a clean 1958 Strat. This one is here for authentication and a setup for the seller. So this guitar is, at this point, available for sale. I don't have a price yet, but I will if anybody happens to be interested. But this is about as clean as they come other than one that, you know, hasn't been played at it, at it would be fully mint. But this is what I would call near mint. Um, you know, still lacquer on the edges of these original frets. The only fingerboard wear is this one spot right here. So someone had a favorite chord. Um, 58 logos are known for deteriorating and fading away. And this one is as you can see, just in beautiful, beautiful condition. So I'm gonna lift the pick guard here and just to prove that everything is original inside. When you see them like this, they pretty much always are, but you gotta, you gotta know. So we're gonna do this. This had uh, some flat wound strings on it. Another thing worth noting, if, if this would be a guitar that had its original strings and just dead mint, probably wouldn't take them off just leave them on and let uh, the next owner decide what they want to do with the guitar but there's there's uh, evidence in the case that these are not the original set of strings so we're going to go ahead and set it up for 10 through 46. all right so i've taken the screws off really feels like the first time they've ever come off so i like to line them up as i took them off in these cases and uh Put them back in the same way so i haven't lifted it yet so we're going to do that now yeah uh, look at this also bridge cover ashtray still here and on the guitar which tells you no one played this much because let's face it you can't play them with that on there Yeah, just carefully. It's been on there a long time. Body day to 458. Very common. Uh, here's some, something worth noting too. Red sunburst under the pick guard. Shortly after this, they would stop spraying red finish on the, on the three-tone sunburst under the pick guard where it wasn't seen. Uh, just a waste of that many of that much red paint red's kind of the most expensive pigment so at some point leo fender must have said hey stop spraying it in there you can't see it anyway but this is an early three-tone sunburst and it does have the red under if you remember the winona strat was the same way so this is what you want to see this is completely untouched and just as it was wired at the factory everything is just squeaky clean just like the rest of the guitar masking tape is intact I plugged this in for a quick second with those flat wounds on it and this guitar sounds huge so there's under the guard Here's just a little ounce of prevention I like to do when putting screws back into a guitar like this. Just before screwing it in, I just have the weight of the screwdriver on this. Turn it counterclockwise until you hear it click into the thread. And then you know you're going exactly back into where the threads were just so you're not the guy to strip it out. Here's another little detail, kind of geeky detail, but these six bridge screws, look at this one here is nickel plated like you're used to seeing. I've seen these kind of, I don't know what they are, zinc plated maybe, but they're kind of almost a blue metal. I see them a lot in 58. So this is a pretty early 58, so I'm guessing that this nickel-plated one, you know, was just left over from the previous batch. 
when they were new they probably looked about the same so we've got this guitar plugged in I sprayed just a little bit of cleaner on the inside here and this has just a little bit of noise still so the trick is to clean it from the outside so I'm going to pull this volume knob up and off and get some cleaner in where the shaft goes down in. That's a ground connection, and that's what gets dusty a lot of times, and uh, that'll usually clear this little bit up that's left of scratchiness. But overall, you know, not a lot of cleanup to do on these when they're this clean. You really wanna just wipe it down, not do a lot of polishing or using a lot of chemicals or anything when, when they're like this. All right, so here we've uh, I've lifted the neck very, very carefully. I know some of you will say, oh, you shouldn't have done that, but I did. And there it is, 558. Body was 458. So everything lines up, of course. Again, on guitars this clean, there's rarely a surprise, uh, anything major, but... There it is. Also wanted to note that I did uh, lubricate the truss rod nut just a little bit. And another thing worth noting is, can't really tell from this video, but the slots on this particular fitting are the narrow type that you see every once in a while. So normally I would use this Cruise Tools uh, screwdriver, which is designed to use with fender truss rod nuts. But it's just a little bit too thick. The blade is a little too thick. So I've got this vintage screwdriver that I've had forever that is wide, but it's been manufactured in such a way that it's kind of chiseled at the point to be narrow. And it fits uh, these truss rod nuts perfectly. So you get a good safe bite. Okay, the black light test. This is a, a great, great example of an old finish that is 100% beyond the shadow of a doubt cohesive and not touched up. So, the black light will reveal any touch up areas. So, there's a lot of misconception about a black light and what it can show you. So what it does is it shows the clear coat, old clear coat, uh, in, a, in this kind of glowing greenish color, and color can vary a little bit. Generally, it's this green glow. And it'll reveal if, there, if there's any touch-ups that the naked eye couldn't see in natural light. So all it really does is show if there's a cohesive finish or if there are any touch-ups. doesn't guarantee that it's the original finish. So if this guitar would have been completely refinished 20, 30 years ago, it would look like this as well. So it's not a guarantee. You have to kind of look at the big picture, but it's certainly helpful. And here's a good example of what it can show. So here's where the clear, clear coat has worn through just from pant legs. So that's not visible to the naked eye if I turn the light back on. It all looks black, well, except for that little area there, but. So that's the help of a black light. It'll show some touch up, like it would show, if this had some new clear coat from a repair or something, it wouldn't glow green, it would generally be black in comparison to the green. Again, just really great to see this type of condition on this old of a guitar. Zero wear on the back of this neck. And look at these tuners.